restless bikes. I build custom bikes in Ashland, Oregon. I've been doing it for 20 years. My dad was a welder. I, I grew up around metalwork and worked for Trek many years. Left Trek in the late 90s. Moved to Ashland, worked under a Shimano warranty center there and uh, started building bikes on my own. So mostly build hardtails, gravel bikes. This is my road bike. You can see I did frame, fork, stem, built these wheels. That's an old Synchros ottered stem that I just thought was kind of fun and made it out of steel with that same piece. I always do fillet braised. A lot of the, like this mountain bike right here, I did for the show, all internal cables through the down tube. And it's kind of tight to fit a post mount on the stays like that. But you can see there's a little room there, did a little scallop to make it work and very complex bends on the stays. I also do goofy little things like this, a back scratcher made out of cutoff parts, you know, something that I can give as gifts. I've taught my son to weld using these things, these are little practice weld pieces. This is for a musician in Los Angeles. I told him I'm keeping the bike until after the show before he gets it, but it's moving down to Southern California. Uh, he's a guy who races triathlon and wants to start doing some gravel racing and wanted a full GRX bike. Light, he wanted the color, he described the color as being something between Tour de France yellow and like a sunset. And I think it came out pretty nice. He's happy with the pictures, but he hasn't seen it in person yet. And what's your uh, website is set for this company? RestlessCustomBikes.com. Um, I'm on Instagram at Restl Restless Bikes as well. Uh, like I said, around Ashland, you'll know me. They'll see me around there and, and most of the local guys there. Uh, if they're not riding one of my bikes, they're waiting for one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, I'm Curtis Inglis with Retrotech and Inglis Cycles. Uh, these are two bikes that I brought uh, to the Made Show this year. This is a customer's bike that he wanted a full Philip Rays flat bar gravel bike. Um, and, you know, somewhere through the build, we kind of figured out this would be a good one for the show. Uh, he also wanted a custom made rack. So I spent, uh, you know, better part of a couple days making that. Um, he also wanted me to do a segmented fork, uh, so we built a segmented fork for it, um, and a fillet braised stem. So, yeah, it, uh, I'm really excited to how the how the rack just kind of flows into the back of the bike. The struts themselves just kind of they're the same arc as the wheel, so you kind of just lose where it's actually being attached to the uh, to the bike. And so, really happy with how that turned out. Uh, and then we have a very traditional Retrotech road bike. Uh, and so I wanted to show, since road bikes seem to be, you know, losing favor in the world, uh, it's super fun to like show up with like a proper road bike with Durace and NV. And so this has got a uh, butted top tube, uh, straight gauge seat stays, um, real traditional uh, diameters. So great ride. Um, get a little bit of extra give out of the curved back end. And that's pretty much it.
website, EnglishCycles.com. I am Ruben from Rizzo Cycles. I'm showing two of my two of my bikes. Um, the first one is a customer bike from Denver. Uh, road disc uh, in stainless XCR Columbus steel. Full Ingrid drivetrain, uh, one by with uh, Campanolo Super Record levers and brakes. And the whole Christkin wheel set and, and hubs, wheeling and headset in made black. Um, the second one is a new integrated gravel in titanium I have just made. Um, using 3D printed parts like the upper head tube, uh, the yoke to give uh, the frame uh, 750 uh, clearance and, and the rear dropouts with the, with the new UDH standard which you can see using the wheels manufacturing gear mount for Shimano. The build uh, features a uh, complete MB cockpit and, and wheel set with frisk and headset and, and bottom bracket and the titanium E wings crankset. So very clean look, uh, all, inter all internal cables thanks to the MB in route system with uh, the new, uh, not so new because it's already featuring the Mog bike but new to us, the builders, the, the new integrated gravel, gravel fork. Are you based in Madrid? I'm based in Madrid, in, in really near the city center, near to the river. The website is uh, resocycles.com. Take a card. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you to you. Okay. My name is Max. I'm with Rodriguez and Erickson Cycles. Uh, we've been around since 1973. Uh, hand built frames in Seattle, Washington. Uh, we got here is a variation of our Finney Ridge model, which is a traditionally an IS mount disc brake bike and a lot of our models will start off as a kind of like a starting point for you we tend to want to build the frame after we've met you and uh, kind of just do whatever you want with your bike so that it's comfortable for you triple triangle design yeah uh, we wanted to go with a triple triangle it's a classic frame design choice we uh, built this frame up more specifically for the show as like a display bike uh, it's got a little bit of a slacker head tube angle, or sorry, top tube angle, and uh, we kind of wanted to just build something fun, bright, exciting, and give it some like really gnarly looking parts. So you have a lot of bikes in the background here. I mean, this is all your handiwork, obviously. Uh, more traditionally, we do a lot of touring bikes, and tandems, and ultralight frame. So what we have here is a four model of our ultralight weight tandem, it's kind of a traditional road race, uh, rim caliper brake bike. Uh, it is butted together uh, S3 ultralight tubing. Now it's kind of new old stock. And then as far as the keel tube goes, we get same material that's made for us, put a mandrel in it, and we thin it down as fast as like as thin as we can get. Total weight on this bad boy is 25 pounds. Oh, thank you. My name is Alder Threlkeld, A-L-D-E-R-T-H-R-E-L-K-E-L-D. -E -E this is the Rodriguez six pack. It's got the name because it has six couplers on it and this fits in a carry-on suitcase. Uh, we made this because we had a lot of customers that travel through Europe and there's a lot of train restrictions um, with suitcase sizes. So this is made to just break apart in just about every single tube individually. Even the stays come apart from each other uh, from these bolts right here. And it, you can just pack it up, put it on, and then when you get to your destination, just unpack it and ride away. I put this utility bar on it because I had this kind of fantasy of just rolling up the suitcase and sticking it on. That way you could just carry your suitcase and just 
right away with it. Uh, these are custom geometry. Uh, we do a 60 trail on here, so it actually rides just like all of our other bikes. And then even the effective chainstay length is normal, uh, is, uh, is like a normal bike. So you don't have the common mini velo wheelie issues where you know you push really hard and it like kicks the wheel back and then you know you fall off the back of it. What's the uh, assembly time roughly? I mean, if you get good at it, I've had customers saying like, you know, I really practice and I keep practicing over and over again and they, they'll get it down to like 30 minutes because they're, they're cable splitters on here. So you don't actually need to adjust anything at all. You just, un, you just unscrew that and then it comes apart and you screw it back together. Yeah. And we do S&S padding. We custom cut everything so it protects the paint. It won't get dinged up. We have riders that are 6'3 that ride these. You know, we make it to their size, still fits in the suitcase. Uh, we make a tandem version called the 2014. Uh, still with 20 inch wheels and 14 couplers. That takes a little bit longer to, to take apart and it fits in two carry-on suitcases, but, <clears throat> but yeah. You know, we could, we could do disc brake, we could do regular derailleur, it doesn't have to be roll off, we could do Nexus, everything's custom. What's your website? Uh, rodbikes.com. Uh, welcome to the Maid Show. We're at the Sage booth. Uh, we've got some great bikes on display and we've got some new cool stuff that we're showing off. Um, and specifically, we are talking about the Storm King Technically version two. So uh, been some updates made to the Storm King from the original design. Um, the One of the main things is the new geometry uh, that we're offering. Uh, the geometry is really centered around being able to give you clearance for 750 millimeter tires if you want uh, and having no toe overlap. So as a result, what I've done is I've actually pushed the front end of the bike out uh, to give you the extra clearance, but you're running a shorter stem to offset the difference. So your fit still remains the same, but now you actually have toe clearance because a lot of times, a lot of gravel bikes, you're trying to run big tires, you can't fit your um, your your toe is going to hit the the cranks and the you know and the tire and and that sort of thing. So here we've got it so that you are not you can turn the the bike in tight situations. So. That's kind of the big deal with the, the new revised geometry. Additionally, uh, we're now offering our new 3D printed parts. So specifically, we have a chainstay yoke uh, that clears. Uh, you actually have two options for chainstay yokes. One will allow you to run a double crank set, a two by, with a 750 millimeter tire. Uh, or you can run a one by and up to a 650 by 2.4 inch tire. So massive clearance uh, with all this being combined with short chain stays. So short chain stay length and big tire clearance and guaranteed to work with cranks and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, additionally, we now have our new 3D printed dropouts. Uh, so this allows us to have better precision uh, and quality control over uh, brake mount, the, the flat mount brakes specifically, uh, as it relates to um, the, the facing of the caliper, you know, the facing of the mounts and um, just being able to uh, have a better overall quality. The precision is much higher with 3D printed parts. Um, structurally, they are just as strong as regular titanium, even though it's, um, you know, printed powder, if you will. Um, but it's, it really gives the, the bike a, a unique design and we can really design in the features that we want into the, the parts, as well as the aesthetic of the, the uh, parts overall. And then lastly, this is now our first fully internal routed bike. So we're using Envy's all new uh, internally routed adventure fork along with the Chris King AeroSet headset and then the Envy AR bars and Envy Aero stem. So we have, this is a fully internal bike. And so now this is an option for all of our bikes and customers. Here we have our Barlow all around quiver killer race bike, gravel bike, Kind of the, it's the bike that you can ride from your house 
on the pavement to the trails, ride the trails, ride the pavement back home, and you have an amazing day with it. So the Barlow was designed as a gravel bike originally. It's kind of morphed into more of an all road, all endurance, kind of do it all bike. It's still clear 700 by 40 millimeter tires. Uh, we do offer full internal routing, not on this specific one that you're looking at, but we do offer full internal routing on it. Um, and it's just kind of that do-it-all bike that really just kind of is, you know, everybody's known and loved for years. Uh, in fact, you know, Jason rode this a number of years ago and loved it when he rode it. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely got some credibility and it's been around the block once or twice. This particular one, uh, we did a murdered out paint scheme for it. So black on black. So matte black Cerakote with a clear gloss logo uh, over the top rather than gloss Cerakote. Uh, and then the Italian flags are homage to the Campagnola Super a record wireless group uh, that we are you know showing here at the show uh, so a little bit of an Italian theme for an Italian flair and, and that sort of thing so uh, Campagnola Hyperon Ultra Wheels um, and then Envy you know bar stem fork and titanium seat post and titanium seat post collar and yeah it's just kind of a it's a killer bike right as it sits it's about 17 and a half pounds uh, and so yeah, I can't wait to ride this, so. Website, Dave. Cool. Website, uh, website. Just visit us at sagetitanium.com. That is www.sagetitanium.com. And you can see the Barlow and all these other bikes uh, there. And uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Matt Nelson of Saltair Handcrafted Bikes. We're here at the Maid Show in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I brought a few bikes. This one is a single speed cyclocross bike. Um, it's for a customer, a very special customer named Jackie. Uh, she's a big uh, ultra bike packing fan, but she likes to race uh, single speed cross in the fall. Um, if you've seen graphics that look like this and uh, you're wondering where it came from, it's, it's, uh, it's Snatterday's Strawberry Lemonade and she's a big fan of it. She drinks a lot of it. Um, anyway, it's a pretty simple bike. It's got rotor cranks, some sweet Chris King carbon wheels, got some uh, Serac CX Edge from IRC for rubber duties, uh, Envy cockpit, and uh, it's just set up single speed, so no need for uh, shifters. What's up with this? What's up with that? What, what can I say? I, those were the, the brake levers I could find. So here's another bike we brought. This is uh, my friends at Rotor. They're uh, about 10 blocks from where I live in Salt Lake City. Um, this is my buddy Joel's bike. Um, so this is another single speed cross, but it's got tire clearance for up to 45. He's got some uh, access two by shifting on it for gravel duty, but we're getting close. It's almost September. He's gonna take the gears off and the cassette and he's gonna be running single speed cross on it as well. Uh, saltaircycles.com This is Santiago Tro from Scarab Cycles. Uh, we're here at Made Bike Show. Today we have two bikes in our stand. We have the Apuna integrated road bike. This is going to be our old road model with fully integrated cable routing, super clean looking, fast, aggressive. So if you want to go fast and get dirty, this is the bike. Um, it's been sprayed with a beautiful Magdalena paint scheme. Magdalena is basically an inspiration in Colombia's, Colombia's main river. And as you may know already, we take inspiration from our beautiful country. It's riding, it's amazing, it's culture. And this bike is actually a real map, a, a map of the Magdalena River from where it, it basically, I don't know the English word, it's burned or 
the head of the river all the way to the Caribbean Ocean. So you see a lot of detail, everything is painted. Everything is painted by us in our shop in Colombia. And of course, made to measure. And here we have Darien, our newest uh, model. It's a hardtail mountain bike. Basically, this is an XC slash marathon bike. This is the bike you wanna take for those big adventures, those big days on, on the bike. Um, this is the bike we would ride in Colombia. And it's been inspired in a really special Colombian frog. Uh, it's full of color. It's basically a little poisonous frog that lives in the tropical jungles. Um, and it represents itself, it presents itself in beautiful color. So all those spots, it's how they look on a frog. And well, here you have it. Well, you can find us at scarabcycles.com. Sharon Cycles is my brand, and I build frames and forks out of Ashland, Oregon. Um, my concept is a gravel bike that mountain bikers will love. It's a little bit longer, a little bit slacker than your average industry's gravel bike. Um, this is about a 62 if you measure it traditionally, but it fits somebody who rides a 57 because of the way I do the forward geometry concept. Um, I like to build my gravel bikes with plenty of clearance, plenty of room for a real dropper post, and uh, they're a heck of a lot of fun. website SharonCycles.com. I'm also on Instagram. Hey, how's it going, Gravel Cyclists? Uh, this is the uh, the new Seeker bikes. Uh, it's uh, the the metal arm of McGovern Cycles. Uh, we're doing titanium. We're doing steel. These are going to be stock geometry with custom options. Uh, yeah, we're trying to make the, the the time for you to get a bike a lot quicker. This is a mix of like um, U.S. made titanium and Dedichai. We've got some Dedichai in the stays, and I think Titanium Joe in the in the main tube that we we swedged at the bottom bracket for a little bit wider down here. Uh, 44 mil head tube T47. Uh, the the bikes moving forward are going to have Lycan manufacturing um, dropouts, like on this guy here. That's a tie Lycan. Pretty cool. Clint's up to 45, 700 by 45 on these. One by or two by, Axis or DI2, dropper if you want it. Steel frames are kind of following the same vein as the tie bikes. Got a, uh, a mono stay, which is pretty sleek and pretty cool up here in the seat stay cluster. Just a little bit nicer, smaller rear triangle, a little laterally stiffer, no bridges. Um, again, price point on these are $28.50 frame fork with paint. Same type of tire clearance, 745. Yeah, yeah, T47, 44 mil head tube. Yeah. So this uh, particular bike is a custom seeker titanium bike built for Josh over at Hi-Fi. We did two identical bikes. Um, so this geometry is a little different than the first bike we looked at. Uh, a little bit more racy, shorter wheelbase, a little more aggressive for uh, the cyclocross. Josh races here in Portland, so he's got two of these. I love the front edge. Look at what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on there. Yeah. 
Got the Dugas on there, you know. Uh, SecretAdventureGear.com. Hi, I'm Oster with Simple Bicycle Company and Arctos Jigs. Uh, welcome to Maid. What's the bike behind you, mate? The bike behind me is a very classic road bike uh, built for a local gentleman here in Portland. We tried keeping it as simple as possible, no bent tubes, um, very, very classic and traditional. We went with a non paint because Pain is too expensive and I don't want to hide any of uh, the craftsmanship in it. So what about the bike over here? The bike here is uh, belongs to Paul Sales and he is the single speed cross champion, uh, national champion for in Canada. So we sponsor him, also a great bike. And he, uh, he'll be racing this at Single Speed Worlds. Um, also kept it pretty traditional, uh, no paint, and uh, just uh, etched logos. And hopefully he crushes it this year. I'm super stoked to have him on the team. What's your website? Website is simplebicycleco.com and um, arctos.com. Appreciate it. What we have here is the titanium version of a Singular Griffin. There is a frame set that was born uh, in, in the mid 2000s from the idea of Sam Ellison, the founder of Singular, of making a big tire cap capable um, drop bar mountain bike, basically. That is the uh, the the rougher edge of, of uh, gravel riding. This, this frame can, can work up to 29 3.0 plus tires, and you, you, you can either build it for like fast gravel or for some very rough stuff. It's the ideal bike for being on, a, on an adventure not knowing what is he you're heading to. What is the website? It's uh, uh, singular.co.uk uh, or uh, biciclista.us for uh, the United States. I'm Adam from Sklar Bikes. Uh, this is a Sklar Super Something, which is our production gravel bike frame set that we make. Steel, frame and fork. Uh, it's mostly designed around a 700 by 40 C tire, but as you can see, it clears up to a 2.1. Um, designed to be a drop bar bike. To flee as far as like the road bike drop or big tired road bike to sort of drop our mountain bike spectrum that falls somewhere in the middle um, meant for kind of bigger day rides or even some light touring um, pretty a little bit more upright than your traditional road bike um, we ship it with a steel fork because we like how those ride but it's got tapered head tubes so you could run a carbon fork if you wanted here at the show, we're also kind of soft launching our new stems that we're having made and they're paint matched. As well as a new titanium seat post that we'll have out this fall. Um, we also do with adjustable dropouts, you can run bigger tire sizes if you slide the, the dropouts back. 
or you could run it single speed if you wanted or just mess with different chainstay lengths. Really fun gravel bike. We've, we've had great feedback from these. I rode one on the Tour Divide this summer. It's been my daily gravel bike for, for about a year now and uh, they're available now at sklarbikes.com. Flory from South Bikes in Dresden and I just want to show you real quick what we brought with us. We got uh, two dropper models. That one's the more road oriented called Clueless. Got all the little details that every frame that we built has. And then we move over to the other one. That's the Purple Haze. It's more of a off-road oriented gravel bike. So you can put tires up to 55 millimeter in it. And it's got a bigger head tube and a little bit more sporty geometry. What is your website? Our website is sour.bike. Hey, I'm Richard, creative director at Speedwagon, and today I'm going to show you this 2023 Rugged Road. Uh, rugged roads are basically our version of a gravel bike. We definitely come from a more road perspective than a true longer gravel bike. Um, you know, we build our bike specifically to the tire clearance you want. So say if you only ever want to run a 35, we can shorten those rear chain stays, keep that bike super playful. Um, yeah, you know, we use a mixture of True Temper and Columbus tubing, been partners with Envy since they started and we started. So this bike is full Envy'd out. Uh, we got the Campy Super record on there. That's what we got. Uh, What's your website? Uh, head to speedwagon.com for more information. How's it going? Uh, my name is Aaron Stinner here at Stinner Frameworks. Um, we've been building bikes for about 13 years now out of Santa Barbara, California. Um, we build steel and titanium frames. This bike right here is our Refugio model, which is our kind of quote unquote gravel bike. Um, 700 by 50C tires. Um, internal cable routing, kind of a clean, elegant, simple, but highly effective gravel bike for exploring wherever you want to go. Um, UDH. UDH, so we got UDH dropout. This one's running like a transmission mullet um, drivetrain, which you'll probably see a lot of this weekend. Um, we have our, this is a new fork that we built for our bikes, which has the internal cable routing to work with the NV. This one is the NV system, but can work with the FSA system or any of the internal routing systems. Those are kind of the two big main highlight features, double butted titanium, which we butt in house. So super lightweight, uh, responsive, built around uh, the rider. In this case, this was a custom design frame. So we, we built, built the whole frame ground up for the, for the client.
Our website, uh, Stinner Frameworks, www.stinnerframeworks.com. Uh, we just launched a configurator on our website, so you can actually go on and design your own paint scheme, build out your whole bike, and get an instant quote online. Um, we do custom sizing, but we also have stock sizing, um, and all the information's uh, live on the site. My name is Devin Ross. I'm here with Story Street Cycles. We're a small builder based out of Helena, Montana. Uh, we specialize in gravel, all road and all mountain bikes. Um, our all road bike that we have right here is kind of designed and tested around a lot of the dirt roads, the gravel, and kind of the single track that we ride very often up in central Montana. Uh, we're kind of anywhere from riding on the pavement to a single track that connects to a lot of the places that the Tour Divide race comes through. Uh, we design everything to be kind of nice, comfortable geometry, clearance for 45C tires and a 700 wheel set, um, both two by and, and single ring compatible with just a lot of mounts on there for extra water bottles, top two bags. We have mounts for bolt-on bags through uh, Bontrager or any of your favorite custom builders. Uh, yeah, we just really enjoy kind of getting out there and and checking out all of the adventurous riding that's out there in the West. www.storystreetcycles.com. You can also check us out on Instagram at Story Street Cycles. CSIP Designs. I'm out of Santa Rosa, California. I build custom uh, titanium, aluminum, and steel bikes. And so today at the Made Show, or this weekend at the Made Show, we brought uh, a Thai gravel bike. And this has, uh, it's a mullet, so it's a GX UDH, or a, it's a transmission shifting, but with a force uh, crank set. And this was for a custom made for this guy that's in our, from Santa Rosa. And I also brought a steel bike that's very similar, but also a gravel bike with full gears, front and rear derailleur. Um, this has a GRX Grupo on it. And this is also a custom made frame for a customer. And it's also kind of a touring version with uh, rack mounts. You can find me more information on csip.com.